Yeah. Yeah, I'm Kent Ford. I live in Durango, Colorado, and I'm working here at the World Championships as public address announcer with Lamar Sims. And it's been just a fantastic several days of competition. Working as a public address announcer at the Worlds is really sort of culmination of a lot of the things I've done over the past 30, 40 years. Uh, of course, I used to race on the U.S. team. I've done a lot of teaching of the sport to uh, intermediate paddlers, as well as now I do a lot of kayak instructor training. And uh, working at the World Championships and being involved with the World Championships every year is just an opportunity for me to keep a little bit of a finger in whitewater sport and in whitewater slalom. And boy, it's progressed incredibly over the years, and it's really fun to keep track of it and see how it advances. I race with John Ludville, Davy Hearn, and the C1 team when the U.S. was really the strongest country around. And so it's very fun now I, uh, for all the other countries, other nations competing, a lot of their coaches or folks I used to race with. And so it's a uh, one big family. I sure hope Whitewater Solemn picks up its uh, enthusiasm in the United States. The country, countries involved worldwide are very involved and it's a very strong sport worldwide. In the U.S., the boating scene is so fragmented, a lot of people don't understand Solemn. They don't understand its uh, benefit for you as a recreational paddler. And yeah, the, the participation numbers are pretty low in the U.S., but I certainly hope that and in the future, people will see how much fun it is to get out and move around in gates on the way. There's no question that the best paddlers in many, many cases are those with a slalom background. A couple of cases in point. Uh, in freestyle, Eric Jackson. You know, he's ninth at the Olympic Games in slalom. Uh, folks like um, uh, many of the really top freestyle paddlers have some sort of slalom in their background. So, you know, it's it's uh, uh, Jason Beats from Washington D.C. area. You know, he's really strong. And, uh, got a sl strong slalom background. And so, when you see the very best paddlers on the water, there's a very good chance that they spend a good bit of time in slalom as well. Yeah. Uh, I remember um, Eric Jackson in the early days going to the Nationals, he was a young buck and he was uh, doing kayaking and then obviously he transformed himself into an entrepreneur and a, and a role model for many of the what I call the, the standard hard boaters or the, the river runners that are out there now. That's right, so you know that's the that's the case, a lot of, uh, lo lot of folks including EJ got their real skills developed on our slalom. Well, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you, Dale. Thanks for all your coverage of whitewater sports.